big, big money on Super Saturday. Oh, April, how do you top that? Well, I'm doing it right here, baby. Check this monster out. 2006 AM General Hummer H1. Now, they didn't make a lot of these Alpha wagons, so it's rare. It's got inboard brakes, 16 inches of ground clearance. I mean, this is a beast. It can handle a 60 degree grade, get through 30 inches of water, just no problem. This is a serious, manly car. Speaking of manly, here's the manliest man on our broadcast team, Tyler. Hoover. Uh, thank you. Uh, but the Alpha is very special because it was the first and only year of the Duramax diesel under the hood. Before it was the 6.5 liter. You got the Allison transmission, a host of other upgrades in the interior throughout the vehicle, but it's also the last of the H1. This was canceled, and then shortly later, Hummer went under. And of course, they're back now as an electric vehicle, but this is the last of the old school Hummers. And the last time I saw one of these was in Scottsdale, and it surprised everybody. It was a record setting number for a Hummer, I think. So we'll see what this beautiful Alpha does. All right, this is the one that uh, both April and Tyler teamed up to preview for us. A beast of a vehicle, a 2006 AM General Hummer H1 Alpha wagon. Well, of course, the Hummer started life as a military vehicle, but then it was offered to civilians in the mid-90s and continued until the mid-2000s. Like I said earlier, this is the end of the line, the last year of the Hummer, and the only year you got the Duramax diesel, which is why these things are just on fire when it comes to values in the Hummer world. To your point, uh, these were made H1s from 1992 through 2006, but again, that 6.6 liter Duramax replaced the 6.5 liter of the year before, and only 729 of these were made. But why is this engine so good? Well, it bumped the power from 215 to 300, finally addressing the, the H1 sluggish behavior. But again, only 729 of these made. There's also some deficiencies in the old 6.5 and 6.2. They're cracking blocks, of course, the starters that would sort of fall off of them. This is a much more reliable platform, obviously, and a lot more modernized. You know, you would think a giant vehicle like this would be difficult to drive, but it's really not that bad with the Alphas. Uh, not very much seating, though. You'd think, well, you can haul six, eight people. No, there's only four seats inside this thing. And the whole point of that is, as we saw yesterday, was the fact that there's a big old hallway down the middle of this body with the drivetrains tucked up inside, separating right and left. The whole point of that was to get away from a low-hanging differential and transfer case, none of that. And these things will kind of go anything over, oh, knee height, without any uh, contact. Well, big vehicle, big money, $185,000, the current bid, and... <laughs> he was just imploring him, please bring the hammer down. He thought he had it when somebody else jumped in. Now he has to think, do I want to go five more? Do I want to go ten more? Bitter's assistance there with him, saying, hold on, yeah, we got it. Got to have nerves of steel if you want to play the game here at Barrett Jackson when you close in on $200,000. Well, not many opportunities pop up often to buy one of these. Of course, the Hummer is back now as an all-electric vehicle that can do things like crab walking, uh, all kinds of funny stuff. But this, this is a Hummer to me. Another detail that's often overlooked is the fact that this has the five-speed Allison automatic, replacing the four-speed GM 4LADE used in 2005. So not just the engine, but the transmission is also unique to these final editions. You want the ultimate in reality TV? That's what we have right now. We got two bidders. The gentleman with the phone in the middle. We got the guy on the red shirt on the floor. He was in it. He thought he had it at 195. Ended up having to go multiple bids. Comes away the winner at $215,000 for that massive AMG General Hummer. Oh, I think he's out of breath after that. I'm out of breath after that.